Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 885.5. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, last video we did Excel Magic Trick 885. We used the quotient and mod function to solve a payroll problem. Our problem is we need to charge a penalty. Time in needs to be compared to the required time in. For every 15 minute increment, we need an, a $2 charge. However, exactly 15 minutes is not late. 16 is. Now, in 885, we created a great formula. And by all means, this is probably the best uh, formula because it's uh, robust, meaning the parts of the formula are connected to this formula input. So if I change this from late 15 minutes to 0, colon 10. Whoops. I'm such a bad typer meaning our formulas down here changed, right? Now 814 is past 10 minutes, so it's charged uh, a $2 late fee. Now I'm going to control Z on that. However, if it's not, if you don't, if you're not required to link to this input cell, like the policy is 15 and it's not going to change, here's a slight variation that's even a little bit easier. Now we're going to need to use the quotient function and take the difference between the times. So the time in minus our required time, and I'm going to F for that. That'll give us the uh, how late they are. Now, the quotient function can take some number and divide it by some number and give it the whole number, but not the um, decimal part of the division. So I'm going to divide that difference times this, and I'm going to hit the F4 key. Control Enter quotient will just say how many 15s are in uh, that difference of time. Now the problem with that is for exactly 15, right? 15 minutes is the difference. If we divide it by 15, it gives us one. But our rule says 15 minutes late, you're still not late. It's not till after. So I want to amend this. Here I need to. I really need a zero. Down here at 8:30, I really need a one. 45, I really need a two, and at nine, I really need a three. So I'm going to subtract from this, create a formula element that knows when I'm exactly on an increment of 15 and subtract 1. So I'm going to subtract. I'm going to use the OR function. The OR function is a logical formula that delivers a true or false. And you can list as many logical tests as you want. And our logical test is going to be, is this 0, is the minute 0, 15, 30 or 45. So I'm going to say minute. Minute can take that serial number and tell me the actual minute, 14, 15, 16, etc. And I'm going to say, is that equal to? And now I'm going to use an array, but I'm going to use array syntax, curly bracket, 0, comma for go over a column, 15, comma 30, comma 45 in curly bracket. Now this is an array operation, right? We're doing a comparative operator here on one item here, but more than one item. But the cool thing about hard coding what's called an array constant into a formula is it won't requ require Control Shift Enter. Now the cool thing about this too is that it's running four logical tests. It'll say is this, 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 or this equal to the minute. The OR will, when it sees any true, deliver a true. That true because there's an operator here, some math operator will be converted to a 1 when it hits 15, 30, 45. So let's check this out. Control Enter. I'm going to Control Shift tilde to get rid of that time number format. Double click and send it down. And so that works. We get the 0 here, the 1 here, the 1, the 2. And now I can simply from around that multiply it by the penalty, F4. Control Enter. Now I'm going to Control Shift down arrow and then Control D. That's just a different way of doing that instead of uh, double clicking. Control Shift down arrow, Control D. All right, uh, another way to do payroll penalties for every 15 minutes late. See you next video.